There are several ways to download PNG images from the internet using some websites and I've literally talked about some of them on my YouTube channel but in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Google to download PNG images directly without you having to go through any specific website right so what I'm going to show you you basically have to pay attention to it because there's some specific thing that I'm going to say that will make it possible for you to download the image the PNG image from Google directly right so without wasting much time let's jump into it good so quickly I'll go to my browser and let's say uh, like I'm going to just search for a specific image or any type of image let's say um, JC right JC so I just have to type JC PNG and tap on the search icon so after tapping on that right I'll see a lot of images coming up but what I have to do is to just tap on one image right this image is not a PNG although it is having a transparent kind of transparent background over here it is not a PNG right so what you have to do is to slide and see the second image right so look at this image right now this image is a PNG why is it a PNG because when you first swipe to this particular slide the image the background of the image was kind of first white it wasn't transparent like this so it was afterwards that's when it changed to this kind of transparency now look at this this one was directly transparent like this meaning if you download this it is not going to be transparent if you like let's try downloading this and see how it will look All right so let's see so now it has downloaded let's open it and see now you can see that there is a background attached to it so this is not a png right so let's go back let's go back to where we were now if you slide to the second image that i showed you let's download it and see how it's going to be right so i'll just tap on download again now let's wait for it to download and let's see how it's going to look now probably we'll just have to import into our puzzle lab and see how it will look like right so this is it this is something you also need to take note of see the image we just downloaded they've sent us that it's they've sent us another website that we can literally use to download the image directly so what we have to do is to refresh this particular website right so when we tap on open right after downloading the image when we tap on open they've sent us to this website meaning the design or the image has actually been linked to this particular website right but for you to download it you have to first of all go through that process right so let's just scroll down and see where the image is so that we just go ahead and download it directly okay so they were just giving us some notice over here which probably i may either accept or reject but anyway i'm not going to accept this stuff right so i'll just go back here now let's meaning i'm not going to uh focus on this particular png let's scroll ahead and see another png right so we'll scroll this one so let's see how it will turn after it has loaded successfully so let's wait for it and see how it will turn it is still loading because the image is not sharp at this moment so let's see how it will turn right so this is taking time to load so we we'll just have to skip and go to the other images available now this is not a png directly it is not a png if you download it it's not going to be a png now let's see this one and see how it's going to be this is going to be a png but i'm not going to use it because this is from this website i don't i don't i don't like this website this png or it has pngs but i don't like the website because they do ask of a lot of things before you you know use them so let's just keep scrolling till we get a perfect png you see when you see these images you first of all see them with this white background but within few minutes when the image loads if it is a real png the background will be off and you see a transparent one over there so let's just keep scrolling and see right 
so this is why you have to take your time and do this carefully because most of the time you may see images and they may not come as pngs now this is not a png like i explained earlier it's not a png so we just have to wait and see which one will give us a perfect png then we go ahead and download it now this is a png right because when you first scroll to this particular point the background was having this kind of white plain background but right now the background is off so let's download it and see how it's going to look right so it is downloading so let's tap on open and see how it's going to look right so if we import this into our PC lab uh, probably it's going to give us something transparent so uh, I'm just going to cancel this all right so I'm going to import the image into this working space now you can see it is transparent so that is one thing you have to note right that's one thing you have to note about this when you first slide to the design it's initially it must have a, a plain background right it must have a plain background and when it loads finish the background must actually go off and become transparent like this okay so let's say uh let's search for another image let's say football so you first of all have to add png to the to the search them all right whatever you are searching for add png to it okay so i'll tap on a search icon then we have a lot of them over here now we just have to tap on this image and see if it's to, the background will be off after it loads finish all right so the background is not off so we just have to scroll to the next image and see all right so let's see good this is a png because initially the background was plain like white and afterwards after the image loads finish the background change so this is a png you can go ahead and download it right this is not a png because the background was just plain immediately or directly all right so let's see this one too is a png because the background was plain first and after it loads then it went off right so that is basically how to get PNGs from the Google directly without you having to struggle or do anything. And this particular one too is a PNG that you can download, right? So that is something you need to keep in your head as a graphic designer. If you want to search for, let's say, some images that you are finding difficult to get them, just come to Google, search, write the name of the image or whatever you are looking for, add PNG to it, okay? So let's say this one. This one is a PNG, right? Because initially it was having this kind of plain background and afterwards it changed right so this particular one too is a png let's download it and see okay so basically that is it and i literally hope you do find this helpful and if you have any other questions just go ahead and ask right so you can see this one also is a png just like i explained earlier it's a png right and i hope you guys find this video helpful and then if you do just go ahead give this video a like and also subscribe for more videos right i'm right here if you have any other question feel free leave it in the comment below i'll be glad to answer you right so go and make use of this technique and download all your pngs without any hassle this is gosu here and i'm out blizzard